Hey guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video. I'm going to be going through all of my boot camp stuff that I got and that I was issued to me. I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to store it. I'm going to be showing you guys some things that maybe you should keep out if you're active duty, some things that you can store away for later. If you're a reservist, you can store most of this stuff. So if you guys would like to watch this video, you're just now getting out of A school, graduating boot camp, or just want to see another military video by a female, stick around. Okay, so clearly I am on the floor. I am in the middle of my hallway. Literally, if my husband walks through the door, he's probably going to trample me. But that's okay because we are trying to declutter, clean, and get things organized. So I am home now and I no longer pretty much need a lot of this stuff, especially even like going to work on a daily basis. So... I'm going to be storing it and I'm going to show you guys what things you get from boot camp, what things you know you can work with and you know just give you a little like scoop. So the first item and there is no particular order because pretty much I just emptied out my suitcase that I brought um, from a school and it had all of this stuff in it. I already put away the suitcases but now this is what's left. So in this bag, I have my white Dixie cups. I would suggest that you guys do put your Dixie cups in a bag or in at least in a concealed um, object or something like that just because um, they will turn and you really don't wash them. Kind of like when your Dixie cup gets dirty, that's just the end of it. You throw it away and then you go out and buy a new one. I've seen it with Christian, so I kind of was like, okay, I don't want this to get dirty. I don't want it to turn colors, so I'm going to wrap it up in the bag. And then this is something that I don't need. I Because of COVID and just my situation, I only had to wear my dress whites. Have I ever even? Oh, yeah, I did. I had to wear my dress whites one time for funeral honors, and that was the only time, and that was just like a privilege to do. So I'm not going to need these, and these are going to go into this bin and pretty much in this bin it's just gonna go upstairs in my attic or in a closet um, where this bin could fit in and anytime I need it I can access all of the military items that I need um, and even like I think the next item that I have is a sea bag and this isn't even my sea bag this is Christian's sea bag that he had in the uniform closet that we have that we access all the time when we go and um, get dressed every day but he doesn't need it he barely uses it and now when he has his duty days I don't pack everything in his sea bag I pack it in this duffel bag that he likes better so we are also going to be storing this and this sea bag is really durable really sturdy and you can always use it to travel in any of your military uniforms and I think you can even use it when you're not in uniform too so a sea bag is a good to go you want to keep something like this you know even just for memorabilia um so the sea bag will go into this bucket as well oh skivvies you guys you guys see how small i am look 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 at this lord this is what i was wearing in boot camp just proudly stamping all oh my goodness this is going in the trash i mean these <laughs> we don't need these anymore um, I was thinking about keeping these for like once upon a time if and when I do get pregnant but I think by that time I'll just figure something else out those are going in the garbage on to the next um, your navy ball cap I don't ever see myself wearing this but I think it is good for memorabilia again and it is something that you maybe just want to keep um, I don't know if you'll ever really need it I think you can wear it um, in your PT gear or in your track suit or something like that but if this wasn't flattering to me my capping ceremony was corny so in the box you know in the bin it goes that was also given to you that is uh given to you in your for, in your um sea bag inventory or whatever like you don't have to pay for that if you lose it then you do have to pay for it but um don't get asthma don't lose your stuff and you'll be good the next two things that I have is my dress blue uniform. I've actually never worn this uniform, so I have no idea if it fits. I thought about wearing it to a friend's wedding that we have coming up, but I don't want to be cliche, and I really just want to be cute. So I'm not going to be wearing this anytime soon. This is also going into the bin. And um, one little thing I did do in this bin was I lined it with... Um, there, you can't see them. Oh, you probably could, like, right there, that little piece. Um, I lined them with some dryer sheets to keep everything fresh in, in the bin. Um, so my dress uniform is going into the bin. 
Um, the next one is the dress whites. I put them in a uh, in two Ziploc bags, two big Ziploc bags for the same reason as I did the Dixie Cups. I don't want these to be stained. Um, I barely worn them, so I really don't want to ruin them and then have to buy another pair. Um, and hopefully I don't like gain any weight or anything like that because they, they fit fine. These are also going in there. This is your black, your black, your black parka. Um, you are also given this, and this is the way that they have you fold it when you're in boot camp. You have to like refold this thing a thousand times, but I was lucky enough to have somebody fold this for me, and I pretty much like never unfolded it. We had to unfold it when we went um, to take our final PFA, and I was so upset because I was like, dang, like I never really learned how to fold it. But um, I actually got good at it, and we learned how to fold it, and so it's been folded like this ever since, and this is how it's going to work. I don't really need this black parka. You don't wear it in your type 3s, so it's going into the bin. Some more skivvies we don't need. Oh, I got so many of these skivvies, Lord. Okay. Uh, white socks. The, I think I have a lot of socks, actually. Um, I'm not really going to need them, like, right now. I mean, I, I could save a couple, but I think the rest is probably just going to end up going into the garbage because I just don't need it. And, I mean, I don't think anybody at the Goodwill is, like, really going to want, like, a military sock that's, like, dusty and, and gross. So, I think I'll just do it some justice and, and throw that in the garbage. Um, all of these towels, and these aren't even, like, folded nicely. I think I had these, like, in A school, and I was not folding them like I was in boot camp. Cause I was over it. Um, I think I'm actually am gonna keep these towels, and I'm only keeping them for uh, when I compromise and buy a dog, <laughs> and then I will be able to use these to like when I wash the dog and stuff like that. I can use these to like get all the fur off and wash my dog down, and then I don't have to use like my good towels. So I I will end up keeping these, but for right now I don't need them. So I'm going to also just put these into the bin right there. The bin is getting full a little bit. Um. This little, my net bag, um, you use your net bag in boot camp, never actually. You don't use this at all. You do not use a net bag. Um, this is one of the items that just sits in your, um, sits in your rack and you just leave and you make it look pretty and you, you just like sit it there. Um, quick tip, um, don't ever unravel this. So you're going to have something called static when you're in boot camp. And that pretty much means where if you're in COVID, they're not going to touch anything. But if you go after COVID or you go when things normalize, they're going to be able to like touch everything and like see how you fold it. When you get your knit bag, they're going to teach you how to fold it in your P days, the first few days while you're there in boot camp. Fold it and don't ever touch it. If you have, when you transition from your first ship to the next ship, do not use this to line your sea bag and then put everything in this. If you, even if your RDCs tell you to do it, if you can get away with not doing it, don't do it. I've never unraveled this. I've never used it, not once. I had a couple friends who decided to unravel this, line their, like, they opened their sea bag, put this in the sea bag, and then put all the rest of their stuff in there so that when they got to the next place, they just, like, took this entire thing out. Yeah, it seemed cool and all, but if you just pack it right, you'll be good. And then this doesn't get, like, undone and unraveled because, <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't get unraveled and undone because when you have that static inspection, they kind of want to see crisp lines. And you don't really want to be like trying to iron a knit bag because who does that? Um, I will keep this. I don't really know what for, but it'll just go in here like everything else. Um, the rest of this junk is, oh, this is a white t-shirt that you wear with your NSUs. I will keep that. Um, Christian has a couple in there. Fun fact, we wear the same size. It's actually kind of funny. Um... And our brown shirts, he can fit the small, so he wears some of my smalls, and he had some smalls and some medium, so I would just wear his smalls, and there we go. So I don't really need to keep too, too much out. These are a pair of black socks for your NSUs and your little black shoes that you do wear with them. Um, I will keep a pair or two of these out because I don't think that Christian actually has any of these on hand. Um, and then the rest of these, this whole pile of junk over here is just socks and these irritate my feet so bad so they're going in the garbage and they're also for winter which i don't need another pair of skivvies don't need these are fresh clean a pair of socks i'll keep that look it's skivvies never even worn i was scared not for the aesthetic so they said get your skivvies out i got i grabbed the pair of skivvies that i never wore they will tell you that everything that you have in your um in your in your sea bag or whatever will need to be washed through once but they they never could really track if you wash something or not so 
what I did was is I made sure I kept at least like two pair of skivvies that I never worn and just ironed really, really good and just kept them in my rack that way. And they never knew. So they were they looked good for static and that's what I used. And we didn't get any points stocked off. More socks. Another pair of dress socks I'll keep. These little blousing straps, Christian does not wear them. He's like too good for them now. Um, he just tucks his uniform under his socks and that's what he does and it works for him. I don't, I can't do that. Um, I still use my blousing straps and they work for me. So I'm actually going to keep these out. Um, my face mask. I don't really need these. We have a whole bunch of them, but I will keep this. Moleskin, I'm just gonna end up putting this in like one of our like bathroom bins or something like that. It's not super important. You need it in boot camp, but I think I'm gonna switch over to the tan shoes because those leather boots are tearing me a new one. Um, and then I won't need these anymore. So, but I will keep them because why throw away my money? My watch, I'm gonna end up keeping, but I don't really need it now. An extra cover, I am gonna put this in this bin because I don't need it. Christian and I also wear the same size um, in our covers, which is like oddly so super, super funny. Um, and then this is my larger, my larger cover for when I have like braids or something in my hair, which I don't have now. So that is just gonna go into the bin. I think this is one of Christian's dusty. Um, yeah, this is not mine. Yeah, 147. Biogram. Oh my goodness, his like stitching is like his stamp is like still in here from his like original. Oh, 142. Division 142. Back in circa 2014, I think Christian graduated. 2015. Something like that. Anyways, this is a dirty Dixie cup. He doesn't wear this. It was just laying around. So you know what we're gonna do? Garbage. Um the last two things that I have, and I don't think I showed you guys a whole bag of winter gear that I have, but when I got to A school, I went to the first A school that I went to, it was in Texas, so it was really, really warm. So I didn't need the gloves, the scarves, the net gear, none of that stuff. So I put that all in one bag, and then that bag will also go in here because I do live in Georgia, and I'm not going to be using that stuff anyways. Um, it's not going to happen. The last two items, though, that I do have um, is my... What do you call this? Christian calls this a poopy suit. Um, I don't think they called it a poopy suit in boot camp. I was like calling it a poopy suit because I was like, my husband, that's what my husband calls it. But that's not what they called it. Um, this is pretty much like a jumper. We only wore this one time in boot camp. This is also one of those items where when you get it, and you fold it one time do not take it out like do not take it apart don't be messy nothing like that because you don't want to have to fold this back together there's so many folds like as you can see i even still kind of had it folded from the way that it was in boot camp because i never needed it after that we were during battle stations and that was it you like felt cool because you like finally put on this thing um not gonna need it maybe christian will wear the poopy suit when he goes and like fixes a car or something i don't know i don't need it um, and then the last item is the, why can't I think of what this is called? I'm totally drawing a blank here. This is a wardrobe. This is not a wardrobe. This is a something. You guys know what this is. I can't think of what it is right now. Uh, put it in your, this is so bad. I can't think of what this thing is called. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not going to keep you guys sitting here because I can't remember what this thing is called. I use it for my wedding dress. I use it for Christian tuxedo. I use it in boot camp or I don't know. Whatever this is, I use it once. I'm not going to use it again. I still literally even have the tag on it for like when I left boot camp. You like had to mark everything. You have to label everything, put your last name on it and everything. And yeah, this is also going to be going into the bin. That's everything that I'm keeping, everything that I'm throwing away. I think this is a really good idea for you guys to do when you are transitioning back home. If you're a reservist after a school, you can pretty much put everything away that you don't need and um, you know, just store it for, for a later time. If you guys are getting to your first duty station or your first like command or whatever, this is also still a really good thing to do even if you are in the barracks. Then when you transition out and you go to your own apartment, get married or like whatever you decide to do, you will always have this bin 
like set and um, just because I'm a little bit extra I'm going to put a little label on it that just says like military like via grand like military uh, clothing in here store it in the closet and then that is just that I hope you guys really enjoyed this video please continue to like subscribe and comment as always I'm always so happy to see so many new subscribers and yeah guys just stick around and that's it I can't believe I still can't remember what that's called though but until next time, bye guys.